despite us here at UFT Tech having quite a few videos using 3D printed objects, whether that's a mechanical twisting propeller situation, a foldable phone, a pizza warmer that attaches to a PlayStation 5 Pro or regular PlayStation 5, I actually haven't really spent any money on 3D printing until today. That's because we've had sponsors who have sent us their 3D printers, but because we've been getting more into that content, I wanted to start expanding our capabilities a little bit here, and that's what we're gonna be checking out today. This K2 Plus combo that I picked up from Creality. This is big money that I ended up spending on 3D printing despite never really paying for it before. It is, in my estimation, the proper step up for what we're trying to accomplish. So far, we've had the Anchor Make 5, as well as the Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini. All three of those have been great printers for us to get started and kind of dip our toes into figuring out both just regular PLA printing, but then also multicolor with the AMS system that Bamboo Lab has. We're trying to expand our portfolio and the K2 Plus kind of has a lot that's gonna expand things for us in ways that the Bamboo Lab options really couldn't. So one of the things that I was looking for was potentially getting a heated enclosure. Now, in order to get that with Bamboo Lab, you have to go beyond their X1C offering and go to their X1E. So you get out of the consumer level and you go up to that like professional level. And I wasn't quite ready for that, whereas the K2 Plus offers that. So that's uh, one of the reasons we did that. Additionally, the extra build volume it's gonna give us over our current A1 setup was an incentive for me. And then I was highly intrigued at the 16 uh, different filaments that we could connect using their CFS system, which we're gonna take a look at today. So this is just gonna be a... So, oh, oh no, I gotta lower this table. One of the things we're trying to also expand is our live stream capabilities when it comes to 3D printing. And that's also another area where Creality, ooh, knock that down. I've been investigating uh, getting a Raspberry Pi to set up a situation called Octoprint, which is going to allow us to control our 3D prints in a way that's gonna have more live streaming capabilities using web hooks and APIs, and potentially also help us out in getting better time-lapse situations for whatever future videos we end up doing with our 3D print stuff. We have the manual in here as well as the power cable. That looks like the touch screen looks like it needs to be connected. Oh man, do I have to actually build this? Cause I wasn't thinking about that. We've got filament swatches. Seems like a little toolkit. Bonus accessory, nozzle. So I also haven't really uh, put together too many 3D printers either. The Anchor Make that we have tested out before, I assembled that one. Kyler is the one who's really messed around with the A1 and the A1 Mini around here. And so taking a look at this K2 Plus is going to uh, at least keep me abreast of what exactly is going on with our 3D printing situation because we're trying to expand um, not just our video offerings, our streaming offerings, but we're also trying to build out a little dungeon downstairs where we're gonna have our entire 3D print assembly set up. So this Creality K2 Plus, quite large, just looking at it from the get-go. I mean, this box is very heavy. Uh, trying to pick this up is not simple. Um, I actually think I need Kyler's help. Hey, Kyler! So based on how this feels, I think we can lift. What'd you do? You're staring off the USB cup. No! <laughs> Where'd it go? I don't know. <laughs> Goodness, this bracket is for transportation only. It's screwed in. Deep in there. You're in the block screw, huh? Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Here. Oh, long screw. Look at the look at the size of this screw. There's like I don't know six, eight of them holding the entire CFS system in there. They labeled the wrench. It says unboxing wrench. Like uh, like what all those YouTubers do. That's literally what we're doing in this video right now. <laughs> Bo boxing. Okay, I, I was going for unboxing, but there we go. Unboxing. You want to take a look at the CFS system? 
while I clear out the rest of what's going on in here with all the foam. The hills have eyes. The hills have eyes. When that dude said you're a categorically unviable black hole of entertainment, he clocked you so I'm good. Surprised you let me back. <laughs> Just for everybody else's reference, this is Kyler's three year anniversary here. Kept him around. Remove the screw rod holder before using the printer. Yeah, you gotta just remove the screw rod. <laughs> what? Am I improving the video? Yeah, <laughs> thoroughly. Oh, okay, so. Surely. So this plastic piece is the screw rod holder. I mean, there's a lot going on to make sure that this was secure in shipment. Screw rod holders ripped out. Look at this build plate. So this is, I think it's 350 cubed, which is about 100 millimeters bigger than our current setup. So we're gonna have more space so we can uh, potentially print a PS5 pizza warmer all in one go instead of having to piece it together after the fact. It also came with bonus accessory. I don't know what that means. Oh. Bonus accessory. Oh yeah, we do get stickers. Integrity, innovation, responsibility, teamwork, win-win. Thermal grease, ooh. We can put a cooler on a CPU now. Oh, so we do we even have like tools like this? A bed scraper, a little filament clipper. What, we've just been using what we have, right? I've been using wire snippers. Yeah. Uh, I actually printed a scraper made out of PLA. This is helpful. I mean, I spent a lot of money on this printer. I'm glad that it comes with accessories like this. Torbing. Torbing. This man thinks by saying weird sounds. Torbing. Yeah, that's him processing right now. <laughs> Does it just sit on top? No, not is like that. Not a panel that goes on top here? There probably is. I didn't see one. Oh, it's probably uh, in this. This feels like it's, a, that feels heavy and like a panel. Oh, oh. Does that look, does that look like it goes on top? Is that what this is? Yeah. <laughs> this is the Toponator. We found the Toponator. All right, and so this, this has rubber feet, or at least non-slip feet. So it can sit up like this, that's sensible. Uh, what does this say? Do not hot swapping. That, yep, I'm not reading that incorrectly. This cable says, do not hot swapping. You got it, Creality, I won't do hot swapping. Oh, oh baby, a triple, let's go. Just so you guys can see what we're working with, we got three down there, and we can have one up here. Here, let's scoot it back as much as we can. Oh, brother. <laughs> can we take the top off of it? I think that's what we're gonna have to do. I checked the measurements, and everything technically fit. You know what we could do? We don't have to take the top off, we could take the front off. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> no. My bad, I, I didn't forget the CFS was there. <laughs> I don't think we should have this much filament on it, but this isn't like impossible to hold to stuff. It's not great. Yeah, it's definitely uh... more precarious. But also think if we put the K2 Plus under it, it might actually be structural. Really? Did it break? It sounded like it did, <laughs> but I don't see anything broken. I was thinking, you know, we just keep this light up top so that way it can illuminate the inside. So this is the setup. Turn off the light. Yep, can't see in the interior. Now you can. Now we have the three CFS at the bottom, the one to the left. So the Creality is booting up and that is showing the temperature and the humidity. It's gonna be inside and it's doesn't have any of them. And yeah, looks like all, all of them just worked. I'm gonna wire it up like that. Ah! Bro send like a hottie da. While you work on that, I'm gonna go through the initial setup on the screen. All right. 
Remove four screws, A, B, C, and D, as by the yellow arrow. Which screws are you asking me to remove? Oh, this is screwing the bed down. Yeah, if I didn't unscrew this, the bed wouldn't move. The bed wouldn't move. Screws, unscrewed. Keep the green cube clear of debris. All right, I'll take this stuff out. Don't look at our internet setup. 16 minutes, do not touch the printer. I'll just hand you everything I have. Yellow, fluorescent red, blue, fluorescent green, marine blue, pumpkin orange, light gray, another light gray, bone, ABS yellow, fluorescent orange. Oh, there's more on the floor over here. Prop 65 warning for California residents. This is cream, silk, blue, green. Here's another cream, PLA yellow. Wood, we'll go with bone. Wood and bone. That's that, uh, that's that Witcher DLC. It's the high-end fashion brand. Rag and Bone. Cardigan from Rag and Bone. This kid reckless. Black. Do we have white? Yeah, we do. We got this fluorescent green over here. Let's throw that in. PETG translucent. That dude from the boys who got blown up from the inside. I wasn't supposed to touch the printer, but I forgot that I left the glass open. Um, what you guys can't see right now is that over in this corner right here, I have our uh, next 3D printing project, which is the resin printer. I think we need to get this put together and running before we move on to resin. I'm looking forward to setting up, I got the Creality treadmill printer. So that way we can do really long boys. We'll figure that out later. What's the first thing you want to print? Huh. More V-Bucks. I kind of want you to experiment with doing the 16 colors. Oh, she going. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, I see the orange go through. Is each one supposed to go to a four or no? No, because it only has... No, it only has one output. Yeah, right. Okay. And Sorry. if you look like underneath it, it, it has like... Yeah, it has the four... The bottom. Yeah, it has the four splitter underneath. Okay. So one of the nice things of these... Uh, CFS systems is that they they do dry the filament using desiccant. It's not the same as using a filament dryer, but it is sufficient for keeping the filament in there for a little bit. And we uh, have learned firsthand the fragility of not drying filament. Where's black going in the rainbow? Uh, I was gonna put the black stuff. All of this should be like neutral colors that go- Cream? Yeah, I'm just okay. cream, cream like an off-white. With us having this K2+, plus, do you anticipate us really actually using the Bamboo Lab ones? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. I yeah. think we want to print more than one thing at a time. Yeah, I guess that would be the- These ones are nice because there's an app that hooks up to them. I haven't used the software yet, so I don't- So we're going to get OctoPrint set up. So that's going to be like, it's going to be a control hub where I don't think we're gonna really use Creality software, but um, I don't know how Octoprint works um, with bamboo stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I still barely know what I'm doing. <laughs> You're a step above me. You use calipers to model something. I did use calipers for the first time. Bone! Not suitable for implantation. Well, that makes sense. I'm disappointed. I thought we were gonna print me a new humorous. I think we should put it in and see what happens. That's, I, I'm okay with that. Look at that rainbow. So green in it. Red, orange, yellow, blue. Well, yellow and blue together. We should probably make sure to put something to collect the poop before we forget. I, it could even be like one of these boxes. Like this yeah. is thin enough to fit back there. You just catch some of it. Just so you guys can see. Bunch of trash on the ground. Bunch of trash standing up. All right, it's late on a Friday. We're gonna cut to actually having a completed right, print. We've got our print dungeon all set up. What are those printing, Kyler? The feet for that PC build? Uh-huh. And then this is building a clip for the lavalier mics because this broke prior to me trying to film this. And we've gotten the K2 Plus to work multicolor. This took us days to figure out, mo mostly because we're working on other projects in the meantime, but we were having constant issues of getting the filaments to feed into the multi connector in the back. Part of it was uh, some of the tubes were too long. Part of it was we were having the angles go the wrong way. So the, the filament was getting kinked. It was a whole, whole mess. Um, and especially when you do something like this, where at the same layer, there's multiple colors, you end up with, where's all of our poop, Kyler? 
We've got a little poop shoot because that's also one of the difficulties that we have with K2 Plus is that the exit for the filament poop is at the back. So we 3D printed a slide that comes down and then empties into this bucket. Little poop shoot for the K2 Plus. We did this as a little test print. We also did a multicolored benchy that we got going, but all of the colors seem to be working. And we're also starting some active projects. Where's the scraper? Don't cut yourself on that. I'm not gonna put my fingers anywhere near it, Kyler. Who would do that? This is a pain in the butt. Anyways, this is for a, a PC build that we're doing. We're doing an open air case concept. I gotta just take this off. Forgot about that. There you go. And it just slides right off. There we go. Uh, we're still learning how to 3D print, but uh, we're also learning how to 3D design. This is this is quite an interesting concept. Mm, I don't know if this is thick enough. Might have to thicken that up. Yeah, this is taking a lot of design, but we have a printer that can accommodate larger prints, multicolor prints, kind of anything that we're trying to do. And it's all set up and it just kind of works now. We figured, spent a lot of time tinkering, uh, pulling out friggin' filament and putting it back in. It was a, it was a whole, whole adventure, but uh, we didn't want to capture the struggle moments. You got anything you want to say, Kyler? Give it a bump, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see you in the next 3D printed video. Choo choo. choo, -choo. <sighs> Oh man, there is so much in here.